Hello and welcome to Art Swarm. Art Swarm is a experimental arts video program where we encourage people to create things around a theme and then we showcase them. This whole show is all about creating something that you've never seen or never experienced before. Everything you're about to see is new, created just for this program. We have a theme every show and this show, this theme is class. And we're going to begin with a piece by Andrew Williams, which is something of a morality tale, a poem, a sort of Hogarth's rake's progress. Only this time, the star of the show is aquatic. It's a piranha. Peter the piranha was just hanging with his mates. But beer and football in the pub, it wasn't all that great. Despite his simple upbringing, young Peter wanted more. Some art and culture, something more than watching Arsenal score. He saw the trout, all eaten schooled, go swimming down the street. He saw their shining monocles and top hats, tall and neat. They spoke amongst themselves of music, art, philosophy. I want to be like them, thought Peter. That's the life for me. So Peter went to town, and bought a top hat of his own. To buy the monocle, he had to take out quite a loan. But now young Peter sparkled, feeling like a millionaire. The trout were bound to welcome him, now he knew what to wear. When Peter saw his former friends, they gasped in shock and awe. Was this the Peter that they'd known since they were three or four? But Peter turned his nose up at them. He no longer cared. The trout were now the friends with whom his free time would be shared. So Peter followed as the trout went out upon the town. He joined them at the theatre, at a play of some renown. He didn't follow everything that happened at the play. He listened to the trout and tried to think of what to say. The trout, however, paid him no attention, not a drop. But Peter joined them in a nearby boutique coffee shop. They spoke of people, politics, and things he did not know. And yet he still went with them when they thought it time to go. The opera was culture, this was what he'd always said. But all that foreign singing just went over Peter's head. He asked the trout just what it meant, but they would not reply. Rejected, Peter left without so much as a goodbye. Alone again, poor Peter swam along the empty street. A life of culture was no fun without some friends to meet. He was a social outcast, a pariah, not a trout. A piranha, even with the finest top hat, would stand out. So Peter went back to the only place that he could go. Just what his friends would say back in the pub he did not know. The trout had all rejected him. Perhaps his friends would too. And after how he treated them, well, what else could they do? But Peter the Piranha was quite wrong about his friends. They were eager to forgive him, now that he had made amends. Maybe there was more to life than pubs and sport and beer. If something cultured what he wanted, they had an idea. A quick stop at the shop and Peter's friends were all dressed right. In top hats with their monocles all gleaming in the light. They saw a play, the opera too. They ordered coffee black. And when the trout glared at them, they just laughed and glared right back. It isn't who or what you know determining your worth. You aren't important just because you were of noble birth. A life of learning and of culture should not be denied. But more important are the friends that stay right by your side. And now a poem by Deborah Edgeley, which was inspired by The Merchant of Venice. This is about money lenders and the hollowness of wealth. Step into my cast off clothes. Consolidate my worth with gasps of a thousand glittering ducats that hang on false beards. Keep your bond, he said. Statue of mercy, smash, reflect jagged visage, sweep me under the table and make me a mosaic for your wall, for droves to ooh and ah, aerialist somersault in tempest eyes, eyes as ears, lips as eyebrows, heart as a heaving hunchback. 
For my piece, I am green. I wanted to do something about prejudice and social pressure. And so I've made a piece about how a minority can feel oppressed and how that oppression can grow into hatred because you're not being heard, how people shout more loudly. I hope you enjoy this. Green. I am green. The world is red. I am green. Being controlled by the red makes me hate death to the red. Death to the red. Green. I am. Green. We are red. The green is evil. The green is dangerous. Its actions must be made illegal. The green must be eradicated. We are the many. We must exterminate the green. And now we lighten the mood into the light, bright halls of a Victorian museum. This piece by Andrew Williams explores class in the form of taxonomy and it's a, basically a bark inspired musical piece and a guide to various fauna.
And this next piece from myself is also about taxonomic classes, but it was created in a very surreal way. I began by playing music in the keys of black notes, uh, the five black notes to create a pentatonic sort of scale. And then I made these into a sort of rainbow of things to create a sort of vague mythology around them. And then the end of the music exploded into a D, a brighter, happier chord. And then I created videos to go with the various things. So it grew from a musical piece into something with a bit more depth. Make of this what you will. And now a piece of music by Ben McNair, which has a loose, experimental, jangly quality to the guitars. It's entitled Undertow.
And we end with a piece of pure creativity by newcomer to arts form Ian Todd. This is entitled After the Magicians, and it was originally created and submitted for the Silent Films episode of Arts Warm, but it's now included in this one. And next week's show will include two Ian Todd films. Yes, this is Arts Form. You've been watching Arts Form. My name is Mark Sheeky. If you'd like to connect with the programme, you can do so on Twitter at Arts Form TV. You can also look up how to submit things to Arts Form on my website, MarkSheeky.com. Search for the Arts Form page. Because the key thing about this programme is it's made by you, it's made by anybody, it's supposed to be experimental, it's supposed to be a bit rough and ready. It's all new things that have been thought up and then put into video form. It's really excellent art training and hopefully it's a little inspirational too. The next programme will have the theme of silent films. Now I originally thought it could be something that's entirely silent without any sound at all, but maybe that's a little bit boring. So make of it what you will. I think generally the films will be based on things without speech. Until then, I'll see you. <laughs>